Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So it's been a minute since we have done a video here on the channel, but we've got a new product for the pickup. In case you didn't know what it is, it is a 2022 Ford F-150 crew cab long bed. Today's product, as you can probably tell right here, is some seat covers. So I think when I first got the truck, I made a video talking about what I all wanted to do to the pickup here. And that was one of the things was seat covers. Um, so we've got them here in my last pickup. If you guys remember, I had the rough country ones, which those were like a neoprene material. These are like a leather material, or if they're not leather, then at least leather looking, but I believe they are leather. Um, and on the inside here, we've got kind of like a foamy material-ish. So when you touch it, it does kind of feel soft on there. The brand on these bad boys is Coverado as you can see right there this is the set we got it in gray uh because that is the seats on the pickup right now i can show that to you you can see i'll just open the door you can see right there the seats are gray so i went with the gray ones they also had black and red and black so these are the seat covers we went with they reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to try them out so i said sure so they sent me over a pair make a little video for them and tell them what I think about it and kind of how they install and everything. Uh, they do come with some instructions right here. So we've got the instruction guide for the front seat covers and also for the rear. I wouldn't imagine it'd be too difficult, especially after I've already done a set on my last pickup. Looking at the instructions, these pretty much look like they're gonna be about the same exact thing as the rough country ones I put in, um, except for, as you can tell, these are leather and the other ones were that neoprene material it looks a little more high quality than the rough country ones because we've got more added detail like this lining here it looked like we had a few more straps and snaps and stuff than the rough country one i'll also go ahead and put coverado's website down in the description below as well as the link to this product on their amazon page for whatever reason the lady that was talking to me kept wanting to do everything with their Amazon page instead of through their website. I thought it was a little weird, but looking at their website, they did have a different kind of seat cover than what was on their Amazon page. I told you guys the colors that they had, and that was just on Amazon. When you go on their website, they've got a lot more colors, and also the fabric was like different, or the whatever you want to call it, the stitching or material in the center was different, but I noticed this one has got the little holes in there, as you can see. So I've just got heated seats in my pickup, but hopefully it should still work with the holes in here. And then if you have the cooled seats in yours too, it should work as well. Um, and I also noticed we've got all the parts here for front and back. We've got the little center console cover. Hopefully that should work with that uh, center flip thing, you know, to eat your cheeseburger, whatever you call that. And then once I move all this, then is it this one it's going to be the other one down there this would be for the seat on the bottom so this one here would be for the back part like where your back goes of the back seat we do have like a zipper right here which it looks totally different on the other side but this side does have a zipper so i think if you've got those cup holders in the center you could just unzip that and unfold it but looking at it from this side, you can't even tell that there's a zipper in there. You just kind of got this double lining that kind of touches each other. Um, mine does not have the cup holder, so we'll just keep that zipped up all the time. Some extra straps and bracing and stuff. Never got any of that with the rough country ones we did. And then I should also note too, this is going to kind of be the longer video I have for you guys. Um, the shorter video I'm going to upload right after this. So if you're watching this one, the short version will be the next video to this. And the short version will also be the one I'll put on their Amazon page because they wanted me to do that as part of them sending this to me and doing a video on it. So you guys will see like a five minute video and maybe like a 20 minute long video. It's going to be the same exact thing. The other one is just going to be a shorter version. Now that I've talked both of our heads off for this long, Let's go ahead and get right into installing these good looking seat covers. All right, guys, I went ahead and got the driver's side put on just so I could kind of figure it out by myself. 
that took me about half an hour or so um, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through how to do the passenger side should be the exact same here's a little comparison so you can see what they look like side by side um, for whatever reason they almost look tan in that lighting but they look like more of a gray color back here as you can see at least it does in person for whatever reason the camera kind of lightens it up but it looks darker gray closer to this it still looks lighter than this but then you come up here and it almost looks tan you can tell it is still gray but here is what it looks like so i'll go ahead and show you guys the passenger side how to get them installed all right first we will remove the headrest like so and then we'll go ahead and get this piece put on which is the back part here uh, if I can do it with one hand we'll see just kind of slides on there like so and then we'll go grab our little clips to put on there need three of these there's three after you get those three on this is what it should look like here just like so and then you go ahead and take those and slide them up under the seat so they come into the back section there and it just kind of hooks on to like the bottom back side of the seat to keep it from sliding up just kind of grab them and shove them down in there and then i went on the back side and pulled them down from there to make sure they weren't gonna come out come around back under here i don't even know if i'll be able to get the camera down there then you just kind of grab your hand up there and you can feel that little piece and I can feel it there just pulling them out and making sure that they kind of hook on to the bottom side all right I got the three of those pulled out I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it there I don't really have an angle or a good light but then after I did that you pull those three out and then you just go ahead and you tuck these into here and then this is kind of what it looks like from this side I'll probably still kind of tuck that in a little bit more to keep this from happening okay I went ahead and kind of tucked that in a little bit more gotta mess with it a little bit more off camera because you can see there's still a little bit of like a crease right there but it doesn't look horrible like that I went ahead and put the headrest back in that's easy enough just to kind of not have one hand to do it. And this might be kind of hard with one hand too, but this, I'm gonna need both hands. But that you just pull up over the top, simple enough to figure out. And we will fix the back side here. Just kind of grab it, pull it down over that. Just like that. And it's on there. I just push this button and you push it down and it's on there. Now they pretty much look the same almost. Just got to get this piece on. Okay now this is the seat bottom part. I went ahead and got these little strap things put on just to kind of save myself the time there. But then flip it over and then you will grab this side here to make sure it kind of hooks on to the front slide it back and then as you slide it back you'll just grab these push them back into that same area go in grab them pull them out to make sure that this piece also won't slide out okay i got that in fairly simple looks decent just like that now one thing i did find is it has these straps right here and what you're supposed to do is go around the seat on both sides um, but that will not happen this is not long enough or big enough basically i can stretch it back to about right there if you can tell that's the back side of the seat those are supposed to go around to the center here and snap into each other to kind of hold this in place these are not long enough to make that work so this side over here i just shove down in there and then this side here i'm just going to kind of shove it down in this little gap right down in there and then after that we will take the little hooks that got sent with it 
snap them onto this, hook them up under this side to keep this piece down. All right, and just like that, we've got this side installed. That took maybe 10 minutes. Fairly simple install. Like I said, it took me a little bit longer on the driver's side just to try and figure out how to do it and everything, but this side, not nearly as long, but there you go, you can see what they look like. Not too shabby. I guess they don't look the best. I don't think it really shows up on camera that well, but like you might be able to see it when I do this. Maybe, can't see it as much up here, but you can right down there. Another little flaw I found with this stuff is in the instructions it said there's supposed to be some little um, like tabs right back here, some little Velcro things. And so you can put those little hooks on there and kind of clip that in. Well, for whatever reason, this one doesn't have it. I don't know if they forgot to sew them on or maybe they just changed uh, how they make them or it's instructions in general and this kind just doesn't have it. Same thing with the headrest too. There's supposed to be a little Velcro piece that comes down through here and like hooks in there to keep this seated on there better. Uh, this one didn't have it. So I don't know why. Um, so they look decent for what they are. You know, it's supposed to be like a leather cover for your seat. It's not supposed to be a reupholstered seat. So it's not gonna be perfect. Like you can see a little gap right here. Just supposed to be a cover, kind of keep all of the gunk off your actual seats. I went ahead and sat in here and it does look pretty good from right here. I mean, you obviously can't really see it. Look over, here's the driver's seat. You can see a little bit of a wrinkle right here. I'm sure when the pickup sits out in the sun, it'll get some of that taken care of, you know, on hotter days and stuff. But it does feel like leather when you sit in here. You can see the little bit of a gap, like right there, as I told you guys. But it is not bad at all. It feels like leather. And I sat in the driver's seat too, and one thing I did notice, I noticed it with my last pickup when I put those other seat covers on, but it just felt like you sat bigger in the vehicle. Like I had to scoot the seat up a little bit and scoot it down uh, just to try and match the settings I was at before. Because I don't know, for whatever reason, it, the whole thing's only like an eighth of an inch, but you just feel closer to the steering wheel and you feel like you're sitting taller. It's just weird, but <clears throat> I got that same thing with these seat covers too that that was kind of my problem with it but that's not a problem with the product that is more like my own noticing with what's going on so hop out kind of slid my butt across it it didn't come off or anything you know the whole thing didn't slide over to the side it is kind of loose in here but that's because we weren't utilizing those little buckle straps down in here, I just shoved it into the side here. So it is kind of loose on the left to right, but it kind of hugs the seat well enough that it's not really a problem. And then, like I said, I got those two clips on the front and the little things in the back too. So there's what the fronts look like. And there's the back. We'll go ahead. You guys can kind of see comparison there side by side. So we'll go ahead start on the backs i gotta kind of figure out what i gotta do here first make sure i can still utilize the little straps here to get the seats up um, but we'll go ahead and get those on guys okay, so here is this side of the back seat after i just got done installing it you can see the difference there that side is not done but i went ahead and did this side so i could figure it out so that should kind of be tucked in there but Anyways, it's pretty much the same as the front, if I'm being honest. I mean, the strapping is a little bit different, but same process. Pull the headrest off, put this back piece on. This is all one whole piece because this stuff folds together like that. It folds together and that side is separate. So this is one whole piece. You do have a zipper here and a zipper here. So I'm assuming it's if you have the little cup holder thing right there. You can just unzip that or take it out or whatever. So you still have the cup holders usable. I don't have that, so I just kept it in there. But there is a zipper here, right there as you can see, and one right back here. So you can connect the whole back seat or just keep it separate. I think I'm just gonna keep it separate for myself, but I'll probably show you guys what it looks like zipped up. But I'll probably keep it separate just because I'm constantly getting stuff out of the back seat from behind it and underneath it. I do have the little seat release lock thing right here. 
it is still accessible. It's just a little bit more difficult to get to. Um, and you do have to put this down. At least I found it was a lot easier to just put this down to get all your straps and clips and everything back there. Um, so it was just two straps on this one. They came up, looped around to the backside here, and then you just kind of tighten it. You shove it through the little doohinky, pull it, tighten it, and it just kind of sucks the whole thing into the seat there. Same thing with the bottom pretty much, is it's just those little things, whatever you want to call them there. And anyways, that is just what the bottom side looks like. Um, and I believe I used four of these little metal hanger looking things because I used two on the top side here to keep this piece right here shoved over. And then I used two down here. Now the problem is I only have two left. So we'll have to see for the other side what I'm going to do. But also with the instructions, it said I was supposed to have some clips down here. I'm already getting it dirty with my shoes getting in the back seat. But I'm supposed to have like three little tabs right there to hook onto the bottom side, two or three. So I think they should have sent a lot more clips than what they did. But anyways, we'll have to make do with what I have. But yeah, so that is what the bottom side looks like. For critiquing it, I would say really the only thing, well, the headrests fit better in the back than they did in the front. Um, there was no straps to hold this piece on. Um, but I'm guessing that's just because if you want to take it out because you have the cup holders, then you don't have a strap just hanging there. So that's probably what the whole zipper concept is for then. It just kind of keeps the middle held down there. The only thing I really found that wasn't great about back here was the seat belt. So you can see the seat belt is kind of off center there, the seat belt thing right here. So this whole design with it it seems weird because they've got the center line right here and then this circle for where the seat belt goes is kind of off center so it should be pushed this way a little bit more because you see right here or right up to the edge of the seat and then you're able to access the seat belt too but just how this is kind of sewn off it should be pushed that way a little bit but again it's a seat cover it's just here to protect the seat, not uh, be like a cat skin leather whole seat upholster. Uh, the other thing I was a little concerned about was the little lever right here to get the back seat up. It's really not that hard to get to now. It's a little kind of shoved up under there because of this strap I put in right here. But if I wanted to, I could just undo that little hanger thing and then it would just be looser right here and I could get to that strap easier but for now I'm just going to keep it like that and see how I like it it just kind of covers it up a little bit makes it look a little bit better but now that I got this side figured out by myself I'll walk you guys through the other side and to show you how to put it on all right on to the passenger side here get all the crap off the seat first um, I already got the headrest out, simple enough to figure out. This one comes with a little undo latch from the factory. So you just yank that, and that's where your spare uh, or your jack would be, is back there behind these towels. So now that that's loose, we just go ahead and take this. And there is no little cutout right here, it appears. So... This should be interesting in the future if I have to get back here. And again, I don't know if I can do this with just one hand while trying to hold the camera. But that's going to go something like that. And then these you're going to shove up under the little gap down in here. Fish them through. And then they should just latch on to these. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you because I cannot do this one-handed. Okay, here is the top piece now. Doesn't look too bad. I just did what it said. And then the only thing with this side is I left those two little metal pieces off of this so that I can still access this pull handle. So on the other one, basically these would be strapped up over this. Another little design flaw with this whole thing is this, basically this strap right here 
goes right over the latching mechanism. So I just kind of pushed it off to the side so that this thing will still latch. But anyways, yeah, you get the straps through here, go under there, and then just put your headrest back on. And then the only thing here would be when you close it, this kind of looks bad right here. So I was just trying to hold the seat belt out, which is hard to do with one hand again. And then I just kind of use my hand and tuck it in there as I close it. And it kind of just pushes itself back in there. And then if you really want to, you can kind of tuck it in there, which I will probably just do that and then kind of tuck the seat belt in. And it's good just like that. I don't know how often I will get behind this seat. I wouldn't imagine too often. If anything, it's going to be the seat over there because I've got more stuff behind there I gotta get to. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You can't even really tell. And honestly, I barely have people in the back seat anyways. Um, this is pretty much just storage for hunting. And then when the dog rides with, it'll hop in the back seat right here. And I just throw a blanket down. But now that it's like leather, I should try and find some kind of a actual dog cover thing for the back seat. But let me go ahead, get the bottom piece put on, and then we'll zip all this up and show you guys what it looks like. And then with this side, it's going to be the same concept as the other side. We've got a strap here and a strap here. Those will go under the seat, come around and hook into our little straps on the front there. So I'm going to do this because, again, I don't have three hands. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now here is this piece on. Again, doesn't look horrible. We've got a little bit of it popping up right here. And then, just like I said there, got the straps and those little metal bars on there. So we ended up having just the right amount because I didn't use two right up there. So, doesn't look horrible. Looks decent for what it is, you know? There's the back seat. Let me go ahead and get this zipped up and I'll show you guys everything. Actually, let me get it zipped up and then I'll show you the console cover too, because I gotta put that on yet. All right, and here is the little center console cover. Doesn't look too bad, matches everything else, as you would expect. This is how it gets locked in there. It's just three Velcro, Velcro little doohinkies that go across here. Just kind of tried to find the best spot to get them to hold into place there. Was like that. Now you can tell, based off of this, that this is not specific for this truck with this kind of flipping lid. It might be with the other kind of console lid, and I think it would work well like with my last pickup, because I remember this is how the setup was. But with this one, not really, because it does have right back here where you press the button, and this half flips over and covers this part here. So this won't work because that Velcro that goes all the way across, I can even show you too. It's stuck in there, but it does do a good job for what it is. But again, it does not match very well because my little button thing's right here and this doesn't even go down and cover it. So, um, but the other models where it doesn't have this little cheeseburger eater, I'm not sure work with it or not. I know my last pickup, which was a 2018 and that body style with that interior, it would work with it because that's just how I remember um, how this was made but with this specific one it does not so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna leave this piece on or take it off it does kind of work well as like a protective cover but I can't eat cheeseburgers in here now so I'm not sure what I'll do yet going ahead and just looking at the back seat there you can see that is what it looks like all zipped up it does look better zipped up in my opinion just because it makes it look like one whole piece right back there. So this is what it looks like right here, all zipped up. It does kind of help it form better to one piece. There's not really any seams. You do kind of have this weird piece through here, but that's just so you can adjust stuff how you want to. And then this is also zipped up here. So you can see it kind of looks more like one whole piece. Maybe it'll look better showing you from right here looks better as one whole piece yeah and for whatever reason it's kind of showing up tan on camera but it's like a light gray color which yeah it's not showing up like that on camera but I think for me personally I'm just gonna leave it unzipped because I don't really care how that looks 
and accessibility to open or you know get up under the back seat and stuff you can see i can't go up with this it'll break that zipper <clears throat> it's starting to pull on it a little bit but that's what it looks like all zipped up at least so guys that is the final product here of what it looks like i went ahead and unzipped that just because that is the my personal way of how I'm going to use it so I can go up and down with the back seat and not have it rip over there. But that's just my personal preference on how I'm gonna do it. If you guys get these, you can do them however you want. But that's what they look like. Final install of it there. That's the back seat again. And then here is the driver with the cup hole or the center console cover and the passenger side. And then you can kind of see right there, everything in one shot, kind of, sort of, if I hold it just right. And then again, these are Cover Auto, for those of you who are interested. Cover Auto Automotive Supplies. Like I said, I will go ahead and drop a link to their website in the description down below, as well as a link to this product on Amazon. And like I said earlier, but if you missed it, this will be the long version of the video, and then there'll be a short version too, to upload to their little product page so they can have an install video. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these. Sorry for being off the air for a while here. I haven't done anything to this. I think I showed you guys the mud flaps and the wheel well liners. That was quite a while ago that I did that. Mud flaps, wheel well liners, bed cover. Really haven't done anything else. Uh, I did buy some little caps that like go out here for towing. You snap on, um, they look pretty stupid when you're driving, but it does kind of help because these mirrors absolutely suck when you're towing. So at some point we might upgrade to some tow mirrors. I don't know what I'll go with, whether it be Boost Auto Parts or the factory ones or something else, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we do have some other plans coming up for tint. Because you guys can tell, there's no tint on it. So, gotta get some tint on the front. Match the rear, I think is what we're gonna do. And then, do also have some plans for a cattle guard coming soon. Because I pretty much just drive the pickup when I'm hauling something or for hunting. And hunting, majority of the time, is at night. And with hunting seasons coming up here, I need something to protect the front end because it's all highway that I drive. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these seat covers I just installed. But I think that is pretty much going to be it for the video. So as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.